guys, welcome back to the shop and we're going to crack on with this. Now I've just found out that this shaft is meant to have a circlet. There's a circlet groove in there and it doesn't have one. And someone's battered the gear shifter on. As in there is no bolt affixing it. You can only just see that. There's no bolt affixing it there. Some fucker's whacked it on. So, can I? Come on, let's hang it over the edge of the table so I can get in there. That's well and truly mullered is that fucker. Oh, you cunt. Tap in the stick. Gotta keep an eye on that bloody sound because it dropped out on me twice today. Can I get in there? Is that coming? It's coming! You should see this actually. <laughs> Would be good. Oh no, you can see it. Only just, Matt. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shit happens, eh? I put a pry bar in, but that's way too long. <laughs> Fucking... Come on. I don't know if it's mulled actually. Any road. Take that bit off. Flip it around this way. And we should. Yeah, I can feel that push. Good. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take, well, we need to get a good camera angle in there. Stick this block underneath it just to prop it up a bit. There we go. And then really, we need to pop that off. So, uh, yes, the guy who brought this round said that these shafts, selector shafts, are a bit of a weak point. A bit of a weak point because they're stuck out like a fucking bear's arse. I don't know how far bear's arses stick out, but pretty far. For fuck's sake. I'm trying to bloody go around everything. Come on. There we go. Jesus Christ, that's pissing around. Oh, it's got some shit on the threads. Some, oh, it looks like scale. <laughs> right then. So our paw should now just slide clean out. Oh, uh, you see, I don't like that. Let's give that a bit clean. Um, that and a cloth. Trying to feel with the cloth if there's any burrs that I'm catching my hand on. Like so, how well is this light working? It's not, is it? There we go! Fucking hell, brains, man. Still don't like that. Yeah, you see, look, the shaft in between is all gnarly. Fucking hell. So that's the groove right there. That's the groove where that circlet used to be. <laughs> Don't know how long that's not been there for. I didn't take it off. Uh, you've got torsional spring. There's a washer there. Um, put that to one side for a minute. Right then, now we've got all this sorted out. Let's get. Oh, a kickstarter shaft out, does that just pull out? No, it doesn't just fucking pull out, you mop it. 
Right, let's get all these tabs off. Okay, now this is going to be fun. Uh, that one. Yeah. Tappy tappy stick. Oh, get out uh, on Hawaii's favourite hammer. He's, he fucking loves this hammer. He uh, asks me every time to get it out. What the hell is that? Poltergeists. So, after looking at this, there's again looks like I don't I'm not entirely sure here. These are all um fancy like K-nuts locking washers that we had on the ER5. Um what I want to point out is that this screw here that holds down the um bearing for the selector drum is a Phillips uh JIS, sorry, I can see the little dot behind it. And this one is a nut, uh, not a nut, this is a bolt, and I wonder why. I doubt, I'll have to check the manual, but I doubt that that is uh, the standard, the OEM, because the rest are all nuts, and even that's a GIS. It doesn't mean that that can't be, um, I don't know why that's not a nut. Unless someone's lost the stud in them, please say it's not something horrible. No, maybe someone's lost that one. So you've got all these locking tabs. So I'm doing this for my benefit. The ones that are basically little hat kind of ones. There's one there. One there. One there. Oh, come on, you fucker. One there. Uh, one there. Where's that little magnet on a stick? I forgot what that was. These have got locking anti rotation tabs. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on, you fucker. Now, you can just lift the cover off and these come with it. The problem is, is as soon as they get past the nuts, they usually fall everywhere. I don't want them to bloody fall everywhere. Come on. Like that, but all at once. Let's get these nuts and stuff out of my way and put them in a bag. Get a bag. Fuck sake. Tell I was never a weed dealer, aren't you? Fuck. <sighs> right then. Oh, there we go. Oh, that popped off. Of course it did, you tit. Right, so there's the dowels that pop out of this. I can't believe the dowels. That's quite awesomely shit, to be quite honest. All little dowels for the selector star cam follower, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to have to give that a name one day if it hasn't got an official name. It's one of the things where I'm sure all the manuals give it a different name. What's hung up? Nothing. Oh, my selector drum's come out. Oh, fuck, that's it. We've all fucking fallen apart. So my selector drum's come out. Shred. Where did you go? And if you do this all the time, that's another of them tabs. If you do this all the time, you'll be awesome at taking this out on a regular basis. I do not do this all the time. I'm not awesome at this on a regular basis. So, that rod goes in there. In there? Where does that rod go? Oh, 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 I see the whole thing slid out. Is that shaft? Oh, the shaft's lifted out the bearing, I see. Bear with me, bearing with me a moment. Right then, so there's a few interesting things to be seen. Um, we'll start the kickstart side. So here's your kickstart shaft coming in, fucking long bugger. And on that is your return spring and basically the, the coil retainer to stop the coil binding in or twisting or doing something fucking stupid and idiotic. 
uh, and then that comes into this system here and in here I don't really want to take it apart Let's see if I can turn it a bit more that way there we go I don't want to take it apart it's a sprag fucking yeah you open it up and poof, that's it pixie dust and all the other shit comes out but basically what happens is let's get it out of gear first that might be a good I'll get it out of all gears come on you motherfucker there we go there so basically what happens is is that you can turn it turn it he says turn it he says What's locking up, you fucking bastard? Something's locking up. Right there. Not splint. Fucking first gear. So, you can turn it and then it ratchets. Oh, fuck. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Then it stops. It stops solid. Then you let it go. That's it ratcheting back, so there's a, a sprag clutch in there. Um, <coughs> so it's actually a mechanical device. Now the weirdest thing is, not the weirdest thing is, or the way they've done it here, is that it is input shaft into first gear, but it's the movable gear, so this is a freewheel spinning gear, and then straight onto the shaft, uh, the, the fixed gear. So basically this is gear one, but it's not using this shaft, hence why you can basically start this thing in neutral. Um, even though this is a freewheeling gear, this just transfers the torque to this gear. It doesn't spin the shaft, it just spins on the shaft. This is why when you kick your bike over, the fucking thing doesn't start up. Uh, and like I said, there's a one-way sprag in there. Basically, what does that mean? Um... fucking sound right so the other interesting thing as well is is this collar bit here so this has a bit of a scroll seal thing you can see there all this is to do is as this turns it basically stops oil getting trapped behind it and just feeds it back into the system but this has um, a keyway drive there just like that a collar and this is um, well for all intents and purposes I'm sure that's glass reinforced plastic I don't really want to take a chunk out of it just to find out, but it feels like it is. Why has this got a plastic drive? Basically, this is uh, there's a, a boss, a blind boss, inside the casing. This is so if this goes fucking up shit creek, it will muller this um, in the housing and not fuck the housing. So the plastic will basically yield and deform a lot sooner than anything. It's basically a snap away section. So this is held in like that. If this was straight through metal, if this goes, ah, fuck off, because you're putting so much torque onto it and it bends out, it's going to fuck your casings, and then it's, oh, new casings, which in this case is the entire bottom end, <laughs> which isn't cheap. So this is them saving you breaking and shattering the shit out of your stuff. That's just got basically a ring clip. It just goes on there, and that's how it's loosely bound. It's All it is is just this fucking ring clip, which is a bit of a beast. But this plastic part will fail before the kickstart will so all them people saying oh you know you hear them all the time oh they design all the shit to fail well actually yes this is designed to fail in this entire system and you just clip it on like that and then all of a sudden now you have the opposite side of your shaft but this ring clip will break off under massive torque it'll basically just force it off if this just starts to go like that or like that if it weeble wobbles out like that this shaft goes titty wampus this clip has now come off and now you're flapping around and then more torque will just make the whole thing just pop clean off like that so this is a sacrificial part so you don't fuck your entire cases um what else about this entire gearbox? Well, it's a cassette gearbox uh, to a degree. You can get cassette gearboxes where they have the other half, basically the blanking plate on the end. So it's a cassette gearbox to a degree. Um, you don't have to split it, but they really had no option because they'd already put a split line. They'd have to put another one in, which is just uh, more castings and more bad ideas. Um, what can I see with this gearbox? First gear, 
Ah, oh, I would love to replace. That has had a bad weekend. Um, yeah, that has had a bad, bad weekend. Um, someone's been clicking this into gear, doesn't know how to fucking ride a bike. Put it that way. Let me get some pictures. Actually, no, fuck it, let's just get the bloody gearbox out. Yeah, let's just get these gears out. Fuck it. Oh, that shaft's already... Oh, that's good. <laughs> a little bit of a pull and the shaft comes out. So on this side we've got a circlip retaining that bearing in from that side. And that's had nothing, really, weirdly enough. There's obviously a groove in the bearing. These all feel great. What I do to bearings is you grab it, try and rest it down and give it the up and down. Like that. I can't feel anything in that bearing. It's not under load, so you go, wow, look at that spin. Yeah, but it's not that. I'm trying to look for clearances. Any weeble wobbling, backwards and forwards thrusting. What's the run out of the shaft when you give it a spin? So this gear on the back is locked to the shaft with the fucking biggest circlip I've ever fucking seen. Jesus. So you give that a wink. The run out on that. Even though it's not supported and it's this far out, that's, that's fucking awesome. Right, so that's sweet. Uh, have a quick nosy. These are all dog on dogs. There's quite a bit of wear where the selector fork runs in that, but I wouldn't go I'm absolutely mental. However, this gear, the first gear output shaft, has seen better days. And they're mighty thin webs. Right then, so looking at these gears, this is a uh, first gear output shaft, and this is, oh, what will this be? Um, fifth gear, I think. Fifth gear? Yeah, fifth gear. So this is fifth gear for the output shaft as well. Why have I got fifth gear out? It's because fifth gear is the one that locks into first gear. And I know that's all confusing and I'll do a really big comprehensive series of how gearboxes work. But basically this is upside down, but can you see those shiny polished edges that have got uh, gone all basically a bit thin and all fucking work hardened. You see them there, look, fuck me. That's not the end of the world at all. But if I can get these cheap enough, I think it's worth talking to the dude who owns this engine to get that replaced. I'm worried about it cracking because some of them are really fucking that one, uh, that one there. That one's a real guff in there um, to the point where it's actually starting to breach uh, the bottom on some of them, like that one. You can see. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see there. Look at there, right at the top. It's raised a burr. Oops, that one right there. It's raised a burr there up. Um, the other thing is as well is the the fucking the actual sides of the teeth are starting to get real burrs on on none of the others. That one's meh. They're all okay. Six and fifth and sixth gear seem to be fine. That's because people aren't brave enough to get into fifth and sixth gear. But uh, obviously, I think someone's been riding this one like a twat. But there's some real burrs, some real raised corners. You can see them, if I just do that, you can see all these raised edges all the way around. They're quite raised. The other thing is, as well as I was inspecting the teeth, look at that. Can you see that? Fucking look at that, that fucking pit in that tooth and the one next to it. Come on, Suzuki, fucking hell, fire. That's not really going to affect the operation, it's just that's a bit of a weak spot. I'd have failed that, and there's edges raised edges bloody everywhere on this gear it seems like the, this one so if i show you this one it is it, they're there but not to the extent this is 
and it does look like they've been plateaued a bit to these gears um, as wear patterns go the entire surface has been work hard so it's very hard to see you'd have to get a new one to compare it against which like I say I'll see how much they are scroll seal in there the X-Men the X-Men scroll seal you can see in the middle look that brass insert oh awesome um, yeah the dogs on this side that actually do the engaging so these dogs that do the actual engaging there these are just work hardened and just become hard as fucking nails now um, yeah they, they look completely fine I wonder actually because this one has got a slight different patina to the others I wonder if this has been replaced um, someone's been in here like I say we found that dodgy screw and you can see on all the castings where they've bent back the tabs on this casting here here you can see that where they've bent back the tabs a couple of times before I even opened it up and yeah but basically that's how it locks together like that and that's what's happening when they're basically changing the gear uh, and they have the baby in the gear and they're basically fed, slipping the clutch and shit like that just knocking it or as they change into second they're um, not being too graceful with it because it's on both sides so it's as they disengage and as they engage so basically someone's I'm trying to work out which way it'd be that's the shaft it goes in that way most of the damage is on that side so this would be in that way that would be we'll look at that way that would be counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise clockwise and oh fuck you can't really if that shaft this shaft would be spinning the same way as your rear tire that's it your rear wheel so your rear wheel in this orientation is turning looking from that side clockwise so clockwise would mean this is turning and that's clapping that way so yeah most of it's actually t getting out of first gear out of first gear into second someone's been a bit of a dick and because uh, some of these are proper the proper that one there at the bottom fuck me that's probably bitten in and it's quite a thin web and you can see the shape <laughs> where it's kind of like bored out in the corners of how much of that is missing so if you let me get something get my white pasty white skin in there look, you can see how much it's egged it out a bit and it's compressing that structure soon as though we're in here and this is probably the last time someone ever goes in here until the fucking engine dies and someone bins it um hmm so it's that way um yeah it's worth it's worth looking into how much that gear would cost it probably can't get them from suzuki probably i'd love to get a new one we'll see i'll see what there is but uh yeah definitely on the uptake of the gear and the rest of it the rest of the affair she looks fine there's some nasty nasty grooves on the inside of there we'll just check them out could be a bit of oil starvation maybe everything else which they've got two pairs that are freewheeling next to each other, that's a bit rare. Um, oh no, of course it's not, because that goes on that shaft, you fucking dickhead. Uh, I had a moment. There we go, like that. Um, and then that goes on like so, and then that goes on the back like that. Yeah. The rest of them look all good. All good. Yeah, all good. Oh, we can also get out our uh, oh fucking hell. We can also get our sprag clutch out now that our uh, output shaft is out of the way. Let me zoom you back out so we can see master of zoom. There we go. So this is our sprag. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> I fucking love this. What simplicity. So, all it is, is you can see there, oh, let's bring you back in, Master of Zoom, sweet. So as you can see, it has a dead stop, which is this bit, oh, there's a washer in there, don't fucking lose that either. There's a dead stop on the inside of the casing, let me show you that. That's this bit here. Uh, there. 
that's that dead stop. So if I can actually put the two shafts together, get rid of the actual gear side of it, put that back in its hole, you can see, you can't see it at all, because I'm being a twat. And raise this, there we go. As you can see, this will go, there's a dead stop there on the back. Fucking hell, let me sort the camera out. Right, so what you can see here, there's a dead stop here, so that's where it basically, the spring will pull it back until there, and then when you basically go around like this, it stops and hits that dead stop there. Now that spring detent should be down and that hard stop locks in there. So that hard stop here is hitting this hard stop. So that bang, 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 like that. The only thing that's keeping this depressed is there's a torsional spring inside and then this ring clip basically. But you can see as you do that, that ring clip shifts. There, like you can see. Yeah. So as this goes round, it goes click, 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 click in all these little... Um, detents as it goes round which I'll show you now so on the other side you obviously have your gear like this this is the gear that needs to be driven and as you turn it goes click 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 that's our ratchet so what it does is it allows movement it allows rotation in this way but when you try and go back this is being rammed into there into that ram and it is not letting go so you can see and then basically that's how you return it so you click one way and then it hits a dead stop basically what happens is is that is turning your engine until it hits a stop and then the spring returns it so if we look at that fucking me and the camera today there so basically what happens is is you hit your kickstart and that rotates your engine then it hits the stop and then the spring pulls this back to there like that so you rotate your engine until it hits the stop and then it, the spring pulls it back like that. So that's basically how your kickstart works. So that's the interesting thing is that when you're in first gear, it's probably going to be quite loud. I've never ridden one of these things before. Probably going to be quite loud because when you're in first gear, our output shaft for our kickstart isn't rotating. I'll put a bit of pen on that so you can see. So as you're in first gear, and this output shaft gear is locked to your output shaft, power's coming in through your clutch, goes through your first, your actual input shaft there, and as it turns around, it actually spins, and that's again why the sprag's there, because you can see that I'm turning this, and you can hear the sprag, but that gear isn't, the, the, your output shaft for your kickstart isn't rotating. It's a very clever mechanism, very simple. Could that have something to do with this being fuck? No, no, because there's very there's no resistance from this. So yeah, if you're in first gear on this bike, you're actually rotating your sprag gear for your um, kick kickstart. Sweet.